So you have data in Subabase and you'd like to be able to view and manage that data directly from Notion. And you might be wondering if it's even possible and if it is, how hard is it to do? It's very possible. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can set it up in just a few minutes. And we'll see how fast we can actually get this done. We're gonna use a tool called Whale Sync to do this. I'm gonna log in, I'm gonna click new sync. And like we said, we wanna connect Subabase, which is right here. So we'll do a little OAuth flow. It's gonna come up, ask us if we want to authorize. We'll make sure we've got the right organization. In my case, I only have one organization. And that should select the project that we've got, which is 11D directory site. And we can save that. And now we're going to pick Notion. So over here, we select Notion. We go through the same OAuth flow. Make sure you're on the correct project. And then we'll select pages. In this case, I want to be doing Superbase CMS as the page that I give access to. Now, WhaleSync is actually going to create the database in there. So I don't have to have a database ready. I just have to give it the page that says this is where I want to be storing that. That's done, now we can move to mapping tables. So this is where we pick the specific tables. I might have three or four tables or even dozens of tables in Superbase. This is just where I tell WhaleSync which ones I want. So in this case, it's the directory listings table. And I don't have a table in Notion yet. Now Notion calls them databases, but um, it's really a table. And so I'm just gonna select new table here. And what that means is when I click this button, we can come over here to our Superbase CMS page, and there you go, WhaleSync created the table for us. So we don't even have to do that, so that's really cool. All right, now it's gonna just double check that everything is set up in the Notion backend and make sure that it's available to the API so we can move to the next step. That should be done any minute here. While we wait for that, just wanna familiarize your, us quick with the data. We've got um, just basic latitude, longitude, some tags, uh, image URL, website URL, description and name, so nothing crazy here. All right, that's been created. So now, this is where we choose the actual columns that we wanna be mapping in these tables, right? We picked the table, which was Superbase, it was directory listings. We created that database in Notion, which was directory listings. But if we look at that, we actually see that it just has the ID and then we can add properties here. And that's because WhaleSync doesn't wanna assume that you want everything over there, so it just kinda of lets you customize it yourself when you get here. But we also make it really easy. So you can click Create Fields, Copy Fields from Superbase, and in this case, we'll just grab all of them, right? Because we, we do pretty much want all of these. And we hit copy, and what's going to happen is we also is going to go through. You can see these little check marks. means that these are being created. So we can look over here, and sure enough, there they are, right in our Notion database. And looks like we've got one left. And there we go. So now all of these have been created in Notion. So I could just hit save and continue and activate, but I want to show you something really quick before we do that, which is these arrows here tell us which direction we are going to be syncing the data. So right now, the ID column is just going one way from Superbase to Notion, and then the rest of them are going two ways. So that means any edits that are made in Superbase will go to Notion, any edits made in Notion will go to Superbase. Now for this use case, that's perfect, that's what I want. If your use case is different, you might want it to be that only one or two of these can be edited. And in that case, you just set the rest of them to one way. But we're trying to do this quickly, so we'll leave everything as it is here, everything looks good. We'll save and continue and activate our sync, click confirm. And there we go, we're done. So that's the entire setup. We can head over here to Notion, we can watch. The data should start coming through any moment. There we go, data's coming through, looking good. And we can move these columns around without breaking anything. So let's put name over here by description, that's a little easier for us. And that's it, we're done. But while we're here, just so I can show you that this is a two-way sync, let's go ahead and create a new page. So this will be record three, and we'll call it just new location. Um, demo, nothing to see here. And we can just copy the Latin long from a different one so that we've got something, leave everything else empty. Um, so now WhaleSync is gonna find that and it's gonna send it over to Superbase, but let's do one other thing while we're in here. Let's actually change this one to Brooklyn Bridge 2. Okay, so now what have we done? We've created a new record and we've edited an existing record. And let's head over here. Oh, looks like Superbase already had an ID3 previously created, so it changed that to four for us. No problem, like it just, it gets done and taken care of for us automatically. Let's come over here, there we go. There's our new location in Superbase, demo nothing to see here. We can see Brooklyn Bridge 2 has been updated. Um, you know what, let's actually change this back. Maybe we don't want this to say Brooklyn Bridge 2, maybe we want it to be Brooklyn Bridge 3. So we will save that change potentially. I, You know what, and this is like perfect example of why I like to use Notion for things like this. I'm not I'm not as good with the, the, the UI for the different database tools. 
I'm very comfortable with Notion database, so I'd rather just work with the data directly in Notion and have everything else get moved over by WhaleSync. Anyway, so let's look back over here. Yep, there it is, so Brooklyn Bridge 3. So you can see that was just a few minutes. I don't even know the, on the timer how much that was, but was super, super fast. Almost didn't feel like, you know, even worth making a video because it's been simplified so much. But uh, if you've got information or data in Superbase, you want to get it out of there. You want to get into Notion or somewhere that's more convenient to work with it. Like I said, check out WhaleSync at WhaleSync.com. Sign up for a free trial. Give it a try for a couple of weeks. See if it's going to work for your use case. Let me know if you have any comments, any questions. If you're running into anything that's blocking you, just leave a comment below on this video. Maybe bookmark it, and I'll try to answer anything that could help you get unblocked and on your way. Happy syncing. Thanks for watching.